I told you, you sat next to my wife, you were... U.S. President Joe Biden concludes a four-day diplomatic push with China and other Pacific nations by holding a final meeting on November 17 with world leaders and a visit with Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador. Ahead of their bilateral meeting, Biden and López Obrador expressed interest in tackling the issues of migration and fentanyl trafficking. Mexico and the United States stand together, Biden said. We see it in our security cooperation, we're working side by side to combat arms trafficking, to tackle organized crime and to address the opioid epidemic, including fentanyl. López Obrador described the U.S.-Mexico relationship as respectful and cooperative, and he praised Biden for his immigration policies, calling him an extraordinary president and a man with conviction. The meeting comes as the two countries are at odds over several significant trade issues, including Mexico's efforts to phase out use of genetically modified corn, a move that hurts U.S. farmers. We're cooperating there as well. And we see in our cooperation to address historic levels of migration. And I want to thank you, Mr. President, and your team, I really mean it, for the cooperation and your leadership in taking on this challenge. I know it's not easy. Together, we're taking a balanced approach that lies at the heart of the Los Angeles Declaration on Migration and Protection, and we and 19 other nations have signed on to that agreement. So it includes enforcing our borders, increasing reparations, and opening a historic number of legal pathways for migrants. So I want to thank you again, all the things that are of consequence to us. I couldn't have a better partner than you. Thank you. This is a respectful and cooperative relationship for development. At the same time, there are around 40 million Mexicans working and living with decency in the United States, which strengthens our bonds. And, of course, progress needs to be made further. Progress needs to be made to address the migratory phenomenon. We're working on that jointly in coordination. And we wish to thank President Biden, because he is the first president in recent times in opening legal pathways for migration. It's a humane way to address the migratory phenomenon. And I would also like to express and to state that he is the first president in the United States in recent times who has not built walls. It is true, and we need to continue to support one another. So migration is an option and not enforced. We I'm pretty certain that we will continue to evolve our good relationship. And I would like to also take this opportunity to greet our paisanos. There are many American citizens who are moving to Mexico to stay there, to live in Mexico. So welcome, because we are brotherly countries. Thank you. This is what I wanted to say, as well as that we have a great relationship and you have an extraordinary president in the United States, a man with convictions, a man, a good man.